So <laughs> it is 7.50 in the morning and uh, I have my, my iPad out here in the garage drinking my coffee and uh, just watched Elegant Intensity's video on uh, Elliot Roger. <coughs> Excuse me, but I, I, I don't want to talk so loud this morning. It's too early. Normally I'd be yelling and screaming right now about, not about the video, uh, because the video was, was great. I'm a big fan of, of, of his page and his, his vids, you know, the, the hate on CrossFit is what brought me to his page, you know, a long time ago, been subscribed for a while. And, uh, and I'm subscribed to a lot of the people that, that he rags on, you know, until, uh, Elliot Hulse jumped the shark with his screaming like a baby on his, uh, on his, on his fucking bed with the doctor, uh, you know, I was a big fan of Ellie Hulse, uh, you know, his, his, his vids on proper form with, with squatting and deadlifting is, I mean, they're on point, I haven't seen any videos that are better, in my opinion, um, and I think a lot of the other, the other stuff he does is pretty good too, but he's getting way too crazy lately, and, uh, it, but anyway, <laughs> too too many Elliots here. This Elliot Roger thing, I think. I think if you know the whole story, you can see why why Elgin uh, made the video, because he was a a a member and a user of the Misc, uh, you know, the Misc crew, the Misc forums on uh, on bodybuilding.com, which. I used to frequent, especially on deployment, you know, when you're on a ship overseas and you, you ain't doing shit, you haven't pulled into port for 45 days, you know, the, the <laughs> getting on the internet's a big deal and you read everything. Um, and bodybuilding.com was one of the things I used to frequent. Uh, and the MISC boards are just completely uh, terrorizing, they're horrific. And I just stopped going to bb.com at all. But... Elliot Roger used to, I mean, he was on there the fucking day before he did this shit, before he did the, 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 the stabbings and, and, the, and the shootings, and there was actually a user on there that, and he, he didn't get named, he only gave the interview uh, if they said they would only use his, his forum screen name, screen name. Uh, but he was like, you know, yeah, there were people trolling him, uh, but, you know, when he read... Elliot's posts on there. He knew there was something more. And he was trying to help the kid, you know, the day before this shit went down. Um, so I think, I think w with the manifesto and, and the videos that Elliot was posting, I think a lot of it did have to do with, with the fitness community in a way that, you know, this freaking crazy kid, this 22 year old virgin, uh, not only was it his view of women, which, you know, misogynistic, whatever word you want to use, um, it was also his view of other men, uh, you know, men that, that, that he felt didn't have brains and didn't have the money and didn't have whatever else that he himself had, but, you know, they worked out, they were big, um, you know, I don't, I don't have those traps, um, you know, so I think... That that Elgin Tensi doing this video was a good thing, um, you know, especially with that troll on on Reddit with the with the creatine that got picked up by media and 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 I agree with Elgin. It's going to be you know the next thing is going to be video games or television or movies or or whatever the fuck you know. I mean, you had uh, was it was it Huffington Post or was it uh, I can't remember, but but that bitch who was blaming the the new, uh, that new movie out with, uh, oh, I can't even remember the dude's names right now. Uh, the guy from Pineapple Express and stuff, you know, uh, I think it's a Judd Apatow movie, you know, calling out that movie because these are average dudes and they're getting hot chicks in the movie, you know, blaming, blaming that, you know, it's, it's, it's fucking insane to me. Um, but what, what prompted me to do this wasn't, 
Elgin's video, it was, I like to read the comments. And the comments have me fucking bewildered uh, beyond belief. <laughs> I mean, he was mentally ill, end of story, and you made fun of it. Elgin didn't make fun of it. He... <laughs> He didn't, he didn't make fun of the situation. He didn't make fun of the deaths. He didn't make fun of anything other than the stupidity of the media in dealing with this situation. Um, you know, a lot of people are blaming the kids, you know, blaming the fact that he was rich. And I think Elgin did a little bit of this as well. You know, the, the spoiled rich brat that can't get what he wants. Um, I mean, it's, it's an old story. Uh, you know, the kid was well to do. I won't say rich. Uh, you know, he was given everything in life. And, and like Elgin said, I think the kid was expecting, you know, a relationship to be given to him. Uh, but he was obviously fucking mentally ill. Um, but these comments are just insane to me. The asshole was bullied since childhood because uh, it affected him so much. Uh, you feel like Elgin's getting too much attention, but this just wasn't necessary. Uh, I found this video in poor test. Elliot was obviously mentally ill, and that's not something to poke fun of or use for YouTube views. I've watched his videos and they reek of desperation, anger, and hurt. I've watched his videos too, and that's not what they reek of. That's not what they reek of at all. They reek of somebody who's fucking crazy. That's what they reek of. When you're sitting in your car and you're watching another couple make out, and you're getting pissed off inside because that's not you, that's not desperation. That's not... That's not, uh, oh, it, it is anger, but hurt, you know, you guys need to, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know why I'm making this video, because it, you know, it's going to fall on, on deaf ears, and, and I would love this, this, this LC Gator 321 to see this, because you're a fucking moron, you really are. He was fucked up in the head, okay, and again, just like he was given everything in life, money, car, school, you know, all of this stuff. He was given the help that he fucking needed. He was seeing a therapist. He was on medication. Guess what he did with the fucking medication? He decided to not fucking use it. So who do you blame here? Do you blame society? Do you blame the dudes that, that actually lift and get gains and, and walk up to chicks and fucking talk to them? Do you blame the women that don't find his little fucking skinny, I'm better than everybody ass, attractive? No, I blame Elliot. That's who I fucking blame. He had the help, he didn't take it. Look, his fucking, his fucking mom, when she saw the fucking video, she immediately called her husband, said watch the fucking video, they called 911, said you guys need to fucking watch this shit and look out for this kid. They got in their fucking car, and they were fucking driving there. And an hour out from getting there is when this shit started. I don't blame the parents. Any parent is going to give their child everything they can. I think some parents do it in different ways, and some parents can't give as much as others. But I don't think these parents were bad. Um, you know, they... It, it seems to me, on the surface at least, that they were doing as much as could be expected and should be expected of them. So I don't understand the hate for the parents. I blame the child. You know, it's, it's bullshit. Yes, people should have seen this coming. One dude saw it coming on the fucking bodybuilding boards. Uh, people saw it coming on Reddit. But again, with, with all the trolls, you know, I mean, and he was in the sub boards in Reddit, you know, the... the the Forever Alone, and I can't, the, the Red Pill, and there was one other he was on as well, or two more he was on that I can't remember the names of, because I, I don't frequent, frequent Reddit, but I don't think there needs to be the, I mean, I was a fucking poor kid growing up, I didn't have shit given to me, I didn't have a car until I fucking bought a piece of shit when I was freaking 20, 
Okay, I got kicked out of my house at 18. You know, I didn't have shit growing up. So I know what that's like. But to blame the parents and to blame everyone but Elliot himself is garbage. He did it. And he was crying out for help. I agree with that. I don't think he thought he was crying out for help. Uh, consciously. Maybe subconsciously he was. I mean, with, with, with the videos and the, the posts. Um, but if you were to take every single fucking post in those fucking forums, all those forums that he frequented, and take them seriously, who, who has the manpower to fucking do that and investigate all that? Nobody does. Um, especially when, when, you know, probably 80% of them are just people trolling. The videos, yeah, I mean, but he had taken some down, you know, he had posted them and then taken them down, and they put them back up, you know, just a couple days out, and to me, the final video, um, and I, and I saw it, I guess that night, the night of, of the killings, that final video, it didn't look so much as, as a, as a confession, but more, to me at least, more of him building himself up to finally do it. That's what it looked like to me. Um, and I can see why his, his parents called 911 after seeing that video. I would have done the same. I mean, obviously, he said he was going to fucking do it. But it seemed more that he was building himself, building himself up to do it. Um, and I think there was no reason... Elg Intensity's channel didn't do this video because a lot of it did have to do with, with fitness. And, I mean, like I said, he was all over the bodybuilding boards. But these viewers with these comments just blow my mind. There's nobody to blame here. And there are many other news organizations and outlets uh, who are really profiting off of this you know, in in ways that are just absurd compared to this one five-minute video on Elg Intensity's channel. Um, I think there are bigger fish to fry. That's it.